Hey gang, welcome back to the channel. Today I am joined by someone who needs no introduction, Mr. Eddie Hall. So we have agreed to do a diet swap today. I'm ordering what I would order, he's ordering what he would order. Switch the plates around. So what what will I be having? Well, I mean, not that I eat out every single day. Today I will. <laughs> and I'm gonna go, but it's called the captain's breakfast. So it's two bacon, two sausage, one egg, beans, tomatoes, fried bread, and two toasts. I'm gonna have an extra sausage on there, extra black pudding, and an extra hash brown. What would you have? So, similar, you just get a little bit less. So you're gonna have the small breakfast, one bacon, one sausage, one egg, beans, no tomatoes. Dry bread, toast, and an extra hash I'm well happy with that. I thought you were going to have like cheese on toast or mushrooms on toast or something. What would you have to drink? Orange juice. Orange juice, and I'll have a water. Well, order that up. Yeah, okay. I mean, I am, you know, I'm, I'm retired now, so I don't eat like I used to. I, I'd have double that. Okay. Back in the day. Thank you. Okay, is that okay. everything? Yeah, that's yeah. everything. Okay, so. That's what. I do look at the difference. So, I mean, yeah, there's two more sausages and quite a bit more bacon and everything. It's pretty even, I'd say. It is, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Pies, that's probably about 16, 1700 calories. And this is what? Probably about 800, probably half. Yeah. So it's a fair, fair assessment, isn't it? I think so. I'm just looking at the black pudding and the tomatoes. I don't know whether to go for it well, first and then enjoy it. Has to be, oh, enjoy it. it. Has to be a fair, well, has enjoy to be a fair it diet. Swap. And then force it down after. Alright, <laughs> are you ready? Yeah. Okay. It's nice. It's enjoyable. I wasn't a fan of the tomatoes. That's the only thing I'll say I didn't really enjoy. But. Back when I was like peak strongman, I would have this would be my first breakfast of the day. So I'd have this as a first breakfast. And then my second breakfast would be about 200 gram of oats. If I'm being brutally honest, most mornings I'd have a full English and then wash it down with a, a litre of protein shake, where I'd make the protein shake with ice cream. So I'd have like a litre of ice cream with protein powder and honey and berries and everything in it on top of. So did, that, you, did you find that easy or did you feel oh sick no, the whole day? sick, it was horrendous. Oh. That stuff is in. It's not stuck. Just like building up. <laughs> oh, here we go. I'm full out. Or well, not full. Quite full. Satisfied. Little bit uncomfortable. Yeah. Not stuffed. So you're ready for lunch in about two, <laughs> two hours, two and a half hours. I'll tell you in two and a half hours. <laughs> okay. That's breakfast done. I'm just gonna have a little snack a bit later before we have lunch. And then he's got my lunch, which is a really nice duck in plum sauce and noodles. So I think he'll enjoy that. What you forward to? I've got the steak and rice, so I was hoping I might have something more naughty than that, but. Well, you got it deserved. I know, I look forward to it. If I can fit it in. Back from the calf at Eddie's now, just about to sit down, do a podcast, and then we will be having some lunch very soon. So hopefully we'll both have some words of wisdom to share in this podcast. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's very to swim, right? So that's basically a big long pool with all the jets, so it's like swimming in a river. And then cold, so we can sit in that for five minutes. I've made about it, but I do it. Six degrees centigrade. <laughs> it's hot, it's hot. You have a feel of that. It's that in the 
Oh. When we started our, my YouTube channel, me and Matt did a thing in an ice bath, like doing a quiz in the ice then, bath. <laughs> we're living in the UK, right? Some people call me, call me out for this, but vitamin D levels get very low. Yeah. So I had a new blood nutritionist who recommended I get a sunbed and just do two minutes, four times a week. Just keeps your vitamin D levels perfect. Because you don't get any sunlight in the UK. Okay, so I've got a, so I've got a big, powerful stand-up sunbed just for that, basically. I mean, I, I, do, I use it a lot, and obviously during lockdown, this was a godsend. Yeah. So this is like the free weight side of things, um, and then I've got the fixed machine side. So I have these all around the house. So this is Lumilites, so it basically replicates the sun. Mm. So you have that when I'm in here, put it on, and you just rent have it on the house as well, and you sleep better. Mm. Just little things like that. It's like the fixed machine. So every bit of kit I use to win Will Strong Expand, I put in the gym. Basically, so uh, for training my son up, this is like I do, this is all I need that in there, there, and here. And then uh, hyperbike chamber, you ever heard of them? You ever been in one? Not been in one. I've seen Tom Hibbert use. So basically what that does is, is the pressures, so you get in and you pressurise it to two atmospheric pressures, which is about, about 30 psi. And what it does is the pressures squeeze the air molecules even smaller. So like, say that's an oxygen cell, when it's under pressure, it'll get smaller. Mm -hmm. And then that, obviously that's getting into the muscles deeper. Mm -hmm. uh, best way to explain it is people that have had strokes and part of the brain have died. They can go in there and that can bring, bring part of the brain back to life because it's forcing the oxygen back into the small muscles. So if it's doing that for the small muscles, what's it doing for the big ones? Um, so this is like my recovery room. A um, bit of cardio in here and then I've also got my physio bed, all the shockwave machines, professional TENS machines and whatever, I've got every machine under the sun here. Cryotherapy as well. So. So when I'm doing my, when I'm doing my <laughs> so when I'm doing my physio, yeah. So I'm basically I'm having an hour, thirty minutes on the front, thirty minutes on the back, and that's that's every day. So it's just like every aspect of recovery, I'm nailing off. I always I always say this is when people ask about training for the world's strongest man, and the, there are definitely people out there that train harder than me, mm -hmm. definitely. Probably better. I don't recover as hard. And, and, and there are people out there that eat more healthy and eat better than me. But where I won Will Strongest Man was this kind of shit. And, and people overlook it, but I put all my money into recovery. And I was going to say, that's the thing, isn't it? It's money and it never is. to afford those things. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. But there is like, like even the cold bath, you know, like even, even something as simple as cold showers. Mm hmm can be just as effective. Going to gym, mem gyms that have hot cold and you know, you can go and use a hyperbaric once a week for say, yeah. you know, 30, 40 quid. It's, there is ways and means, but it's, it's all down what are you willing to put in to be the best. Thank you, Nicola. How are those, it's Jack off. All right, I think, so we're about oh. to have lunch. We've got steak and rice. My breakfast has gone down now, so hopefully it'll be all right. Looking forward to it. Not sure how much rice is coming though. Only a kilo or so. <laughs> Only. <laughs> <laughs> a kilo of rice. A few moments later. Thank you. Oh, and an egg, yeah. Oh my goodness. I, I forgot about this. This looks really quite manageable. I mean, that's not too bad. I mean, we can compare it to. Look at the size of the plates. <laughs> I forgot to mention that. Yeah, so th this is so this is a normal plate, and that's a plate. This is an Eddie plate. So I, yeah, I, I I eat off platters basically. You're gonna finish that before I've even probably known where Where's to start. You put the sauce on. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna eat this. <laughs> Now and again, if there's like a big chunk of fat on it, I'll cut it off and give it wolf. So. Mm -hmm. Is that why he's on standby? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're right, the, the steak being quite rare. Yeah, it's a lovely steak. I'm gonna smell it. Mm. Just 
smell it from here. I'm not a massive duck fan, but... Yeah, this steak is delicious. I'm just a bit overwhelmed by the amount of rice. But I'll do my best to see how far we get without vomiting. Helps it go down. when you have that cheesecake. Thank you. There you go. Yeah, that's you give it a chance to say <laughs> when. <you're just> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Meant to be on my side yeah. here. I'm gonna just need... Oh, when I press this. That <laughs> hurts. Is <laughs> <laughs> there a frog in here? <laughs> Watching someone eat cheesecake. Really nice. I, uh, mm. Yeah, I know right. it is. <laughs> Their bottoms that right balance of soft and crunch. Mm. Here we go, last mouthful. There we go. And we're now on 3,850 calories. Boom. So, so we'll uh, let that food go down and then we're going to head to the gym and then it is uh, oh, snacks on the way to the gym. Yeah. Lucas Aid. And a uh, chocolate bar mm -hmm. on the way to the gym. Would you have any snacks? Well, yeah, so we're, we say we're going in about an hour, so you could kind of yeah. cross this as a pudding into your pre workout. So I'd have some oats. Oats? Chocolate and some berries on top. Like what? Like, like a porridge? Yeah. With, with, with chocolate and berries. Okay, so I'll have that just before we set off to the gym. So 100 gram of oats, also 30 gram of cocoa pops. So we have just arrived at the gym. I've had another bit of food, so whisper in the Luke sandwich, I've nearly finished. Yeah, I'm, I'm very disappointed in you, by the way. Okay. That you didn't have a whisper gold. You just had a normal whisper. I got to <laughs> choose, <laughs> and I enjoyed it. Disgusting <laughs> behavior. <laughs> Today we knew we were going to train together but I dropped it on this morning that I thought it would be a really good idea if we could to do some Olympic lifting so that's something I'm doing a lot of at the moment. Um, it's just entertaining seeing big guys trying to get into comfortable positions isn't it? So. Somewhat comfortable, I think I'll leave it at that. First time ever doing it. Are you going to so, give, give me a, a rating from 1 to 10 for me snatch? Sounds really bad, doesn't it? <laughs> so we've just finished up with the snatch. Eddie got to 8 kilos. 8 to you. Yeah. Very good weight. So Eddie with a power snatch, which I it was a pretty good power snatch. Thank not you. quite getting the full, full squat, so we're going to knock some marks off of there. Okay. But okay. mine was in like. So, so what were really you saying out of 10 then? Considering your first go, I'd yeah. say like a seven. That's good. That's good. I'm happy with that. I'll take that. Yeah, very impressed. I thought it would be. I thought you'd find it harder than you did. I thought, especially with the drop snatch and the overhead. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I thought you were going to really struggle with that. I'm actually quite mobile in the shoulders, and I think um, that comes a lot from the swimming. Yeah. Because I was uh, an Olympic standard swimmer, and I still swim now. Yeah. So mobility is still there. I'm not the best, don't get me wrong, but for a big guy, I've got good mobility. Right then, Chloe, we're done with the workout. So we've got 60 gram of protein powder there. So this is before the evening meal. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Get it down, yeah. Straight in. Straight in. Well, not gonna, so this is actually not water. Are you, is that is like a carb drink? Yeah, so this is what I normally have. It's hydration, formula, and creatine. Yeah. 
but because we've not got any water. Just bang it in. Right. Mano, let's go. It's cola, kiwi, cookies and cream. What's that taste? Weird. I don't know what it tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the food's starting to digest now. <laughs> I'm a bit worried. <laughs> Right, we're back from the gym. I think total right now you're on 4,550 the work that I've right with all the food I've had so far. Yeah. We're just about to have the evening meal and my gorgeous, beautiful, pregnant wife in the background there. Is, uh... Hello, darling. She's been an absolute babe for <laughs> these meals. So we're just about to have chicken fajitas. Mm. Chicken fajitas. Yeah. So we're just about to have chicken fajitas for tea, which is something I'd have quite regularly. Uh, I would have five wraps with chicken and cheese and everything in them. So we're gonna, I'm going to say 300, I'm going to say 350 calories a wrap and I'd have five wraps, thereabouts. And then, of course, the cheesecake for dessert. Another yeah. 750 calories in cheesecake. And okay. you've got a nice bit of what, yeah, so, bag bowl. So have. yeah, we've, we, we, we've construed, got a bit like pet kitchen meals. So I'm going to have a spag bowl. Uh, and we've had to add a little bit of pasta in there, haven't we? Yeah, so volume-wise, it's probably similar to what I'd have, but they do the black bean spaghetti. Yes. So we need some more carbs and then we've just trained, okay. so put in some extra pasta in. Okay. And uh, hopefully that'll be quite enjoyable. So what, what, Sprinkle of cheese if you want. So what do you say for me, like a 900-calorie like a, a meal? Probably not even that. Like 800? Yeah, between 6 and 800, probably. Yeah, okay, let's, let's call it 800. Thank you. Wow. Now, <laughs> a hefty meal. Yeah, it's a lot of food. Looks delicious though. Thank you, Alex. Imagine how many wraps it would take to eat all of that. Oh, I'd, I'd smash that in probably six wraps. Just, just wrap it in. Get it in there. Really sorry, wraps. Straight, yeah, straight down. All right, let's go, this last one, let's go for three pieces of chicken. Okay. A little bit of lettuce. Yeah. A little bit of cheese. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of this salsa stuff, and let's go. That salsa stuff will help it go down. Thousand years later. <laughs> yeah. I mean, even the time lapse is going to be like an hour long. <laughs> Suddenly, I don't feel so full. <laughs> Thank you. Imagine if you just <laughs> wolfed it down now. So, for here, so we did, I had the five wraps that I was asked to have. You did your five wraps, yeah. It looks like nothing came off the plate, but no, it's filled my little tummy up. So, we've had the last bit of the cheesecake, last bite, finishing off somewhere around 7,000 calories. Yeah, I would say so. Maybe a bit less. The wraps that. are very calorie dense, and you've yeah. got, a, got quite a fairly decent amount in there, so... So a lot of food, like double what I'd normally eat, probably. Well, you've done 7,000, so if you're eating on, on average 3,000, you said? Yeah, just under. Okay, so you've done more than double yeah. in one day. It's, it's good going. Th I, well, I was going to say thank you, but I'm not sure it's the right word. <laughs> thank you, Alex, for cooking and for the you, you, time and effort. Your, your pupils have dilated, you know, when you get into like a food coma, like, yeah. like Mr. Burn <laughs> size. <laughs> You know, you're just a bit spaced out, just like. I've enjoyed it, but not enjoyed it. Yeah, it was amazing, but not amazing. Yeah, cheesecake's been lovely. Mm -hmm. Make sure you like, subscribe, share the video. <laughs> Catch you at the next one. Boom. <laughs>